And we're live! Welcome back to part 36 of the full game commentary. We are deep in chapter 3, and it's time to talk to Dutch. Let's tonic up! What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. And we have a mission. Let's go find Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Charles is up for it, and I do like his warm weather outfit. Oh, and we have a new horse. Here is the sooty buckskin Dutch warm blood. We found her up at Calumet Ravine. Arthur was doing a little fishing for honor, fishing and throwing back, when he noticed a horse across the water all by herself. This is the prospector's horse, but he is nowhere to be found. Looks like this poor little horse has been abandoned. Well, we can't leave her up here all by herself. Let's get her back to the stable. You're all right. Let's move. Yep. A sooty buckskin, sort of a dapple brown. She has the height and physique I like in an Arthur horse. She's a bit slower and not as brave as the Hungarians. However, I do want to showcase every horse in the game, so let's ride this sooty buckskin for a bit. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. You're all right, girl. Yeah, uh, good girl. And back to Charles as we search for Trelawney. Arthur is in a talkative mood, and he updates Charles and us on our progress through the story. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. 
Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Whoa! And we are in the fence neighborhood. Come back in free roam. This is the Butcher's Creek of Rhodes, if you know what I mean. Someone got here first. So it seems. Might as well take this hair pomade. I think Bill asked us for some. And here is a share in Trelawney Silver Mine. The Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company Certificate. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is to certify that, fill in your name, is the holder of how many shares would you like to purchase? Shares inclusive in the above company subject to the provisions of the memorandum and articles of association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares. Probably to Trelawney, so you know, you buy a hundred shares at ten dollars each for a thousand dollars, but you also get to charge one dollar per share as a transaction fee, so you actually owe eleven hundred dollars. That is a nice scam. Back to the caravan. The clues are highlighted like legendaries. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Might as well take this apple for the horse. Big stroke. Pretty recently, I'd say. Look. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. Idiot. Huh. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. And now we have to talk to these suspicious characters. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. And 
And let me tell you, these bounty hunters are rich. They have lots of cash, which we really don't need right now as we just robbed a bank. Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <laughs> Arthur wanted to knock him out, accidentally killed him. Oh well. Let's go find Josiah. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked... I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Poor Trelawney's been worked over. Oh. oh. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh. Uh. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh. So you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. We shall need the bolt action for this one, for the range and accuracy. My brothers! Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Did you see those birds? There's one. If you want, you can just run in circles and they'll find you. But there's a scarecrow hat in this field that we should look for. I think I heard something this way. Wait till I find you! 
There he is. And where did that hat go? I'm not seeing the hat. We shall come back for it. Dumped his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. <laughs> the last one is a cutscene and a nice bonding session for Charles and Arthur. He's mine! Let me take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Bolt action. We can take these guys out from a distance. And there is a free rifle upstairs. You you go to hell. Also, one more Pinkerton to take care of. Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. And as for the rare rolling block, note the range and accuracy juxtaposed against the incredibly slow reload rate. Nice carvings on the stock, however. Ultimately, for Arthur, it is another one for the weapons locker. Sure! What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. And back to Josiah. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never fine. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh. Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't 
looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. Here is one equal Arthur doesn't want to shoot. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Ain't forgotten you. Let's go back for that hat. Hey, mister! This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where I play all the video games I enjoy that are not Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. Throwing knife as there's no reason to attract any more attention. Here is the Scarecrow Derby hat. Also a location if you are interested in collecting this hat for yourself. I like that yellow color and while I do not like derbies on Arthur, I have to admit it looks kinda good on him, especially with this outfit. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Hanging out with Charles, saving a friend, a free rifle, and a new hat. This was a good day for Arthur. I'll see you next week. I am Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Uh, there we go. Now I am a prisoner in the Stillwater Jail. I